Instagram for me at first wasn't a social network. When I downloaded it, I just liked it because I could put filters on my on my photos, and I thought that was cool. Um, but then I realized that other friends of mine had Instagram, and so I then started sharing photos with them, and I think it all started there. freshman year is kind of when I got into photography. I had a lot of free time. My freshman year I also lost eyesight in my left eye. So that was a process I really didn't have any control over. Um, I had a detached retina. Doctors still don't know why. It, one cool thing that came out of that was the fact that I don't see 3D anymore. So like when I look around I see things a little bit differently. And so I'd like to think that the 2D vision I have mirrors the camera and so like I know what I'm gonna be taking because the camera is exactly what I see. And so Instagram was kind of like my outlet. I, I pushed out photos from there, um, and not that anyone was seeing them at the time, but it was gave me something to do. Um, so that was something that was really important to me. I think I started really realizing like there was a community there, like that people were following. Um, probably about a year in, like it moved, it started moving past like, oh, people are following me that I know. It was that that moment when someone that I didn't know started following me and said, "Wow, I like this photo," which was like. Who are they to, like, what relation do they have to me? But yet they still appreciate it. And I think for me, that was the moment I realized that this wasn't just like in my community anymore. There was something bigger and, and people who are not my age or not in my area were still really appreciating my photos, which is really cool. The first thing people knew about me was the fact that I had a lot of followers on Instagram. Like, I think it becomes an identity, which is a really weird thing for me because my photos have never been something that I wanted to bring myself fame. It was more things that I really cared about and things that I thought were other people would care about as well. People are like, wow, you, you're you good because you have the numbers. But I think that some of my favorite photos I have on my Instagram feed are ones that people don't notice as much. In a way, Instagram can twist that, like how people appreciate photos because of these statistics that people um, assign to it because of followers and likes and favorites and everything else we use to measure value these days. It's just one of those things that's like, it's used to measure, but at the end of the day, it's just, I guess, smoke in the air. It's, it's just numbers. Mm -hmm.